Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Negative Zero and it has been a long time since I made any sort of modding video. I want to fix that today. I recently picked up Mass Effect on sale on Steam and naturally I got curious about mods and it turns out there are some great convenience mods out there as well as mods that make this decade old game look pretty darn good. Modding Mass Effect can be tricky however. This is normally the point where I say to read the readmes and make sure to follow the directions, but in this case, with this game, you can actually mess things up by following the directions given in certain mods. I'm specifically referring to texture mods, those mods that change how the game looks. You see, some of the mods have been updated regularly, and others have not. And one mod in particular has simplified the texture mod install process to such an extent that it has invalidated the directions given in other mods. We'll get into all of that shortly. But first, there are three things I'll be covering in this video. First, we'll run the game to let it do some setup work before we start modifying it. Then we'll install some content mods. Those are the convenience mods I mentioned, as well as any mods that alter gameplay or how the game works. Finally, we'll install the texture mods that make everything look pretty and make the first Mass Effect look like a modern day game. The first thing you'll want to do is run the game. So. <laughs> We do this before you install any other mods. We can also take this opportunity to change the graphic settings. Uh, one of the weird things about this game is that there's a drop down menu and we of course want the 16 9 uh, rate aspect ratio, but you don't see 1080p down here. I believe if we, let's close this, I'm using the left and right arrows right now. Can we get to 1080? Yeah, you can, just by using the arrows, not the drop-down box. That's a really weird thing. I don't know why that's like that. I think we got, want the gamma to be a little bit higher. When I tested it before, the normandy was incredibly dark. That might be too bright. We might have to fix that later. So that's what we want. Notice I've got the full window, we're HD, everything's fantastic. Let's get back. Now that's a good first run. We're gonna exit from the game now and install the mods. So now that we've run the game for the first time and set up the graphics more or less to our liking, it's time to install some mods. Remember, you should be installing the content mods before you install, install any of the graphics mods. You can see I have a bunch of mods right here. These are the three we're going to install right now. The first thing you'll wanna do if you wanna install these mods is head over to nexusmods.com slash mass effect. These will have all of the mods. If you've used this website before, you know how it goes. Uh, all the mods are here. If you want to download the mods, you do have to make an account. All you need is an email. You don't have to get the premium account. It's for free. You can do this for free. It's not a big deal. You just need an email. The three mods are FPS Counter, ME1 Controller, because Mass Effect on PC does not have controller support, and faster elevators. If you remember anything about this game, some of those elevator rides in the Citadel can take forever. So FPS counter. There are a couple of ENB, uh, ENB mods on the Nex on Nexus mods that you can use as well. I, however, have a um, AMD CPU, and this fixes an issue that comes up with Mass Effect and the newer AMD CPUs. So I'm gonna use this one. There's a uh, ENB with SweetFX, and there's there's a number of different choices for you. You do not wanna use both of those, or you, you don't wanna use any of the ENBs along with FPS counter. This does a number of different things, anti-aliasing, color correction, and so on. You can read all about it if that's your thing. I don't really know a lot about the graphics. I do know that when I use this mod, things look better. So we're gonna go with that. Let's go ahead, uh, I don't need to download it, but if you're unfamiliar with Nexus Mods, you would go to the Files tab and then download it. Now I can't download it because I'm not logged in and the file size is too large. I think anything over one megabyte, which is tiny, um, you need to make an account for. Again, not a big deal. I already have them downloaded in any case. Uh, the FPS counter comes in two types. It's got the standalone installer and the zip file. I just downloaded the installer itself. It looks like this. It's an exe file. I don't know if you can see that, the .exe. So we can just double click it and run it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're just gonna go through inst the installation. We're gonna go ahead and do this and we're gonna close it. When you run the game, 
some interesting things will happen. Uh, you'll have, of course, the, the counter that tells you your frames per second, and you can edit all that. Maybe I'll start up the game again in a couple of minutes after we install all the mods, and I'll show you. I think you have to hit F12 and get into the FPS counter program itself to take all that stuff out. Well, we might look at that in a few minutes. The next mod I want to do is ME1 controller. This is a 7-zip file. I actually have 7-zip installed. Some of you might like WinRAR or WinZip. I prefer 7-zip. It doesn't really matter. They're all archivers and you can and you can extract them. So let's go ahead and do this. Notice I did it to this folder. Sometimes if you hit extract here, uh, the way that the the archive is set up, it's a, it's a little bit of an issue in that you might have files all over the place. So I've got this right here. What I need to do is get the config files and the Mass Effect files. If we open it up, let me do it like this and I'll show you what's going on. Where are we? We're on the desktop. We're in here. Yeah, okay. These files go into your computer. If we look at the README, this is one of the README's you'll want to use. You're gonna run the, oh look, run the game at least once. We did that, we're gonna extract the files, which we just did, and then copy the config to our folder. Notice this isn't in the game itself, this is in your documents folder. So let's go to documents. Let's uh, make this a little bit smaller, like so. I didn't really plan this part out, uh, so forgive my awkwardness with the um, with the clicking. But we're going to go into Documents, and here's Bioware right here, and it says we're going to install it in Mass Effect slash config. So we've got our... I should have two folders right here, like this. And the config is going to go straight into the Mass Effect right there. So we're going to take this, which is the mod, and I'm going to put it right in here in the Mass Effect folder that's the subfolder of Bioware in my documents. And I already have this. Hmm. We're going to want to replace these files. Those might be left over from my original installation of this when I tested all these out. I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, don't copy those into the game folder. You want them in the user profile, which we just did. Now the next one, the Mass Effect folder file, <laughs> folder file, is going to go into the game itself like you normally put things in. So let's go to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. If you've done any modding at all, you know what we're doing. We're, we go to the same spot all the time. Oh, look, there's Knights of the Old Republic. And here's the Mass Effect folder. Now, when I copy this over, if we look inside of this, it's got Biogame and DLC. Uh, we don't actually have DLC. You know, for Mass Effect on PC, I don't think you can get the DLC. It's not like I bought the Game of the Year edition or anything like that. I don't even know if it's available, but let's go ahead and put this biogame folder right in the Mass Effect folder. Oh, 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 it did not go to the right spot. Hold on. <laughs> let's get that out of there and put it right here. Uh, eight files with the same names. We're going to replace those files. Perfect. So now we did that. Let's go ahead. I'm going to keep this Steam folder open because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the faster elevators. Let's go ahead and extract that as well. Right here. Let's close this. And faster elevators goes in the maps. If we look at our Mass Effect folder, we've got Biogame and Cooked PC. And in Cooked PC, you have a Maps folder. So we're gonna install it right in there. We're gonna copy this, this, <laughs> right into here. Yep, and we did it. Okay, that's the content mods. Next, we're gonna look at 
how you install texture mods. Well, now it's time for the texture mods. There are two absolutely essential texture mods, what I consider to be essential, and there are a few other ones that I really like. The first one is M-E-U-I-T-M. -E I wish there was an easier way to say it, but it stands for the Mass Effect Updated Improved Textures mod, and it is lots and lots of texture replacements. In fact, there's a list of all the things here. Lots of things have been changed. It looks really cool, and it's really good. Uh, this is one of those moments, though, where you don't really have to follow the directions. Well, you, you kind of do. They're down here. You still, yeah, you, uh, you don't even have to worry about ME3 Explorer. That's not really a thing you have to worry about these days. You do have to run the game that first time like we did. All the other mods like we talked about. Uh, one thing I have failed to mention up until this point, I'm using the Steam version, so it didn't really occur to me, but if you're an Origin user, because the game is available on EA's store, uh, you need to disable the game updates or the game uh, auto updates I guess because it will delete your mods for you as it auto updates and that would be bad because then you wouldn't have any mods and all your work would go to waste but M-E-U-I-T-M -E is a, a fantastic replacer and it really makes uh, the game look more modern the other essential 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 texture replacer is a lot of textures I, in fact I think this is kind of a little bit more important than M-E-U-I-T-M because it comes with an installer. As in, it comes with an organizer for you. You don't need to place any of your texture packs anywhere. You run the installer and it will install everything for you. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. Uh, well, not right now, in a second. I also am going to install Elise's complexion tweaks. I really like the way she has the faces look. Uh, Anderson has an issue and we'll talk about him in a second. Um, Alien Aliens is the other one where you can get your, your guys to look really fantastic. Uh, it, this works for NPCs as well, uh, not just your squad mates, and you can individualize the ones. This is sort of a double-edged sword. You can pick and choose the ones that you want, which is cool, but it also means there's a lot more stuff to install. For example, I'm not going to use the Liara skin because Elise's mod has a Liara skin that I really like. I am going to use all the other ones. In fact, you can see them all right here. This looks a little bit different from the beginning of the video. I kind of forgot the installer. Let's go ahead and run that now and see what happens. We get a folder and we run it. There we go. So the .NET, I actually already have that. It, this Every time you run this, which you should only be running it once, because once this is done, you really shouldn't be adding any mods. You should be finished and you should just start playing the game. But the .NET upgrade, I already have it. It doesn't check, I guess. It just says install. I've had weird issues with this. I would actually, if you don't have the latest Microsoft.NET of 4.7.2, I would click later and install it yourself. I'm not sure what's up with this. It doesn't always, I think, install it. I, I'm not really sure. I had a little bit of weirdness. And yeah, okay, it's fine. So here we go. Now this is cool. It's a little bit of a, if you've ever used the Nexus mod manager for like a Skyrim or a Fallout, this is kind of like it in that you can put all your, your files in here. Now you can see there's already M-E-U-I-T-M right there. And if you click on this, I believe it takes you straight to the Nexus page. Yeah, it does it. It's really convenient. Since I have all of them here, let's see, I have this. That's the a lot one, okay. That's this guy right here. Yeah, and we got a little check mark. And the this is the M-E-U-I-T-M. -E and we're gonna put in better hair. I have all of these. I could probably just, yeah, yeah, okay. And we got that one, miscellaneous textures, and the Phoenix armor, which is, this is just the, um, I believe it's that armor that Ashley is wearing at the beginning of the game. These are all in here, it's great, but you can add more. So I can pick any of these other mods. These are the alien alien mods, right? We've got the Krogan NPCs. I can just drag it right over here, put it in. I have to tell it it's Mass Effect 1. Bam, user supplied files, I got it. Now we haven't installed these yet. We still have to install, but I want everything in there before I do that. So I got the Krogans, let's get the Asari. Solarians. I don't know if I can shift click and get everything in there. 
I'm not going to test it right now. Let's see. Kroganosari. Turians we need. We need Garrus. And Rex. And that's everybody. That's everybody. Now, with Elisa's, she... If I have the page here, you can see some pictures of the people. In fact, maybe in the images page. You can see these are all the people that change, right? Changed how everybody looks. Anderson, when she changed it, um, this mod doesn't work well with the changes that MEUITM does with the characters. So the skin tone of Anderson's face doesn't match the rest of his head. So you actually have to install a mod to... Where, where am I? I need a lot. Uh, Anderson's vanilla head, because that's what she did her skin tones for his face on. So I have to put the Anderson vanilla head in to replace the changes made by MEUITM. And then I can do Elisa's mod, if that makes any sense at all. If that's too confusing, just, just skip that part. MEUITM already makes the faces look pretty good, uh, and your characters look better than they do in the vanilla game, but I just happen to like this particular mod. So let's go ahead and install. We're ready. Do it. So after it builds everything up and the textures are ready to go, this is the final moment, guys. You can't install any other mods, just like it says. Uh, don't install any mods or DLC or you'll break your game. Make sure everything has been done beforehand. Once you have this, you are finished and you are ready to play the game and there's no changing it after this. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, now that everything's done, let's go ahead and open up the game and see how it looks. So a couple of things of note. First, if I hit F12 on my keyboard, I can bring up the FPS counter menu. This, I do have to use my mouse. Otherwise, I'm just using the controller for everything. It's pretty fantastic. That mod works perfectly. When I first ran this, now it's saved from when I did the test, but when I first ran Mass Effect, when I first installed FPS counter to check things out, all of this was checked and there was garbage all over the screen, the counter, the clock, everything else was going on. And, of course, for recording purposes, I didn't want any of that there. You just hit F12. You can uncheck all of this stuff. Um, on the Normandy itself, it is very dark. And I don't know exactly what that is. If it's something here or maybe something in here that I can adjust. I'm going to have to play with things a little bit. Um, of course, if you crank up the gamma, you can, you can brighten things um, considerably. But... I, I don't know if that's the only thing I want to change. I just want it to be a little bit brighter in those dark areas, just so people can see what's going on. Um, that's something I have to work on. So that's that. As a final note, I did want to mention that you can configure MEUITM in the Allot installer before you install all the mods. There's a little button. It says configure on the right side of the MEUITM. And if you do that, you can alter things like the way the shadows look, the eyes look, and so on. I actually like the vanilla eyes, the alternative, the glassy eyes are a little bit too shiny for me, but I do recommend putting on soft shadows. That's, uh, that's going to make a big difference as far as how the game looks. And there's a few other options as well if you're interested in those. I didn't explore it too much, but the shadows, I think, are, are an important thing. And that's about it. I'm not an expert at this at all, but if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see if I can help you out. I highly recommend this game. It's fantastic. And with a couple of graphical updates and conveniences put in, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Take care.